Hello guys, welcome back to my tutorial series on how to create simple C sharp desktop application. In the previous episode, we have created a simple, beautiful looking UI for our eContact application. In this uh, episode, we will be creating an connecting database for our eContact application. To create database, I have used Microsoft SQL Server 2014. If you haven't watched the previous video to create this UI, I will recommend you to go and watch. So without further delay, let's move to our second episode of our tutorial series on how to create simple C sub desktop application. So first of all, I will go to Microsoft SQL Server. Let's connect it. Now the database, now the SQL server is connected. To create a database, go to the database. Right click on databases and click on new database. Then give the name of the database. I'll give a contact and click on OK. Let's refresh. Here is our database. Just expand it by clicking on plus sign. Then go to the tables. Right click on tables and click on new table. Okay, let's give the column name contact. ID data type integer integer then first name varchar varchar 50 don't allow nulls last name Berger 50 okay, I will make its uppercase okay, let's check what fields do we have first name contact ID first name last name contact number address and gender contact number Contact number Varker twenty address Varker two five five then gender gender Okay, let's make this contact ID primary key, set primary key. Then this contact ID should be auto increment. Uh, auto increment means uh, while inserting each and every data from our application, it should be automa automatically generated and should be increased by one. So go to the column properties, select the contact ID, then go to the properties column properties and double click on identity specification is identity select is entry and double click on is is identity it said is yes then identity identity increment one and uh, this will increase the contact ID by one so let's save our table to save it just press control and s then give the table name. I'll give tbl underscore contact. Contact. Now we have successfully created our table and database for for our application. Here is our table. So let's go to the Visual Studio and connect it with our application. To connect 
it let's go to visual App studio do the database on our application just click on server explorer and on data connection just right click and add connection then just select your server name just click on the on this icon and it will show your server name my name my server name is cyrus bj then go to select or enter database then expand it and select the database we have created the recently so i will select e contact as my database then i will test connection so test connection is succeeded so our connection is successful so click on ok so we have added our database in server explorer to con connect it with this application we need to create our connection string let's go to solution explorer and double click on app config here we will create a new connection string to connect database with our application connection strings add name just give a name I will give CNN STR and connection string then connection string to give the connection string we have to go to the server explorer then select the database we have connected recently just select the database and go to properties then on connection string click on connection string and copy all this to copy I will just select all and copy the connection string and paste it here semicolon at the end that's it this is how we connect our d database and our application so thanks for watching if you like this video and would like to see similar kinds of video in future then don't forget to like share and subscribe if you have any confusion related to this video then don't forget to comment i'll reply as soon as possible so see you next time bye bye